Welcome to the first ever Gutter Kids Fanfic Book Club. This is episode one, part one, of Love Heals All Wounds, a Kingdom Hearts fanfic, written by Chain of Roxas. The following podcast contains adult themes, sexual content, and strong language from the outset and throughout. Don't say we didn't warn you. Enjoy the show. Hey kids, do you hate yourself? Yeah, yeah I do! Do you like just sitting around listening to people and laughing about the failures of their lives? Oh my god, absolutely. Do you enjoy laughing, crying, hearing fan fiction and having your banana cry? I mean, mostly that second thing. Well, you're right place. Open that manhole and crawl down into the gutters and meet the gutter kids. Is that an innuendo? Possibly. That sounds great. How old are you, kid? Maybe over 18, who knows? It's the internet, it doesn't even matter anymore. No, you can't say that, Roisin. We've discussed this before. (laughs) Welcome to the gutter kids. Nikki, I guess you're wondering why we why we brought you here. I am lightly curious. So you guys have brought me here today to read me stories. Read you stories because I think you'd really enjoy them. Yeah. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm instantly worried. You look really anxious. I do. You look fairly. Actually, you know what? We, the we light. turned the lights off. We can, I think we turned oh, the lights. Oh, bring it sexy up in here. <laughs> uh, that's too many lights off. Pitch black. Way too many lights. That light actually has a bit of a hum to it. We kind of cut that noise out. Okay. It, we're, it's not going to be, so, it might be picked up, I don't know. Okay. We had, a, we had a great discussion at one point thinking that we need to do something special for the very first episode of Gutter Kids Gone Wild. Gutter, gutter Kids, Kids Gone, Gone Wild. Wild. <laughs> no, I can't strip, so it might just be Gutter Kids. It's I can like, strip if you want. Well, the radio I kind of already can. did. No, that is true. We you need to wash it. my shirt. Because someone spilled tea on someone someone. Someone spilled tea all over my shirt well, and it's white. It cost me 12 euro for those tea bags. You fucking wasted did it actually? It was a box, but it was the most expensive part. Christ. Yeah, it's a nice box, though. It's... Anyway, okay. you guys are going to read me stories. Yeah. yeah. Roisin, do you want to start reading or will I start reading? How about you do the voices? I'll just do the narration. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, we're, we'll, is... um, do I get, do I get, am I privileged to the title of this piece? Who wrote this? You guys didn't write this, I take this it. This is Chain of Roxas. The oh author. my fucking god. Is that the author? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm f- this fucking Kingdom Hearts fan. Would fiction. you like to know what the title is? Yeah. The title is Love Heals All Wounds. Chapter one. Fuck. Who is this between? What's the ship in this? Do I want you'll to know? Find, you'll find out. You'll find out. Friend. It's an adventure for all of us. You're going to love it. So You're gonna any, love it. You read okay. anything within a quotation mark. I'll just be. Okay. Take off those pants. You look like a fucking wiener in them. Riku snorted. <laughs> Sora blushed embarrassingly oh, as no. he slowly unzipped them. No. He could hear Rico muttering. Yes. Continuously <laughs> under his breath. Oh, Con- continuously, please. Continu- yes. Yes. It made yes. Sora uncomfortable. Yes. It's making yes. fucking me uncomfortable. Yes. 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 <laughs> Ever- yes. Continuously under his breath. Yes. Oh, no, it's not. It's under his breath. <laughs> Ever yes. since yes. Rico and Sora yes. shared. Rico. Yes. Rico. Yes. Sorry. Yes. I'm- yes. <laughs> Ever since Riku and Sora shared the papo fruit. Papu. Papu. Stop. I, this is what I'm here for. Okay, fine. <laughs> the papu fruit. Papu. Pa- papu fruit. There you go. It's Be- shaped like a star. I swear to God. That's when nice, two people dear. eat, eat okay. it, their destinies are entwined forever. Right, we're not looking about facts. We just want to get to the good part. <laughs> I just want to get to the porn. Anyway. That's why we're here. Riku had been acting weird lately. He constantly asked to be in the same room as Sora. I'd just like to bring up that he constantly asked to be. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I read over that. What year was this written in? Mm. No, 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 2012. No, yeah, it. it's Bless got it. seven faves. Seven, I can't believe you. Seven pro- people and favored this. we're two of them. Shit. We didn't favor the, this. Uh, okay. Should have fucked. Should have. Anyway. Uh, he it's constantly asked to be in the same room as Sora or even moan at the sight of him. <laughs> What about now, R- Riku? Sora pondered. His jumpsuit fell to the ground like a puddle under his feet. <laughs> like a puddle. 
puddle. Like a puddle. <laughs> you just have a really cute gym scene though. <laughs> it melts like a puddle. It just her. looked really. Is cute. it like a puddle? Apparently. Is it like a dream? <laughs> I want a dream. <laughs> Is it blissful? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, go Rico on. Sorry. grinned. Looks like I'm gonna be fucking that wiener. Oh my god. <laughs> just came out of my mouth i mean i have a boater <laughs> oh god open some oh, windows in here <laughs> oh my god i'm so dreadfully uncomfortable no this is i'm actually this is hilarious please continue all right <laughs> what sora yelped as rico pounced on him the boy held sora down with his weight oh god oh god <laughs> yeah, there, those are the words no, or... it's, the next, it's the next line <laughs> oh Ooh, okay um hold on we need to do, do that you guys again. want age context um, from assuming if this takes place oh, after I Kingdom don't Hearts. think I want age context. If this takes place after Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, I think Riku is about 18. It's not too bad. And mm-hmm. uh, I think Sora is about 16, 17. It's kind of mm-hmm. bad. I think it's a bit weird. Think, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. They're cartoons. But even, but even though there's only a small age gap, Riku is a big book boy. And Sora is like your sweet little guy you root for. So I think I need more wine. Are but, they both dudes? Yes, they are. Yeah, Not that there's anything wrong with that. Passing no, but ass. you're about to get some hardcore. I, I need more. Um, you're about to get some like hard on. Like I guess we're about to get some hard <laughs> on. <laughs> no, are you our... chain of Roxas? Oh my god, no. Unfortunately, I'm not. Okay, I sorry. feel like I'm going to enjoy this. Where were we? They have a Kingdom Hearts <laughs> username, so I hope they're they're going to like throw in random it, references to this. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, let's just continue on. What? Sorry, yelped as Riku pounced on him. The boy held Sora down with his weight. Are you tight? Rico asked. What? The, <laughs> Riku asked the boy. Sora didn't know how to respond. He thought he was pretty radical. And car- <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I did not say he's pretty radical. Sorry. It gets better. Kairi had, Kairi had once said Sora was the flyest motherfucker she ever knew. And then her mom popped on her fucking mouth because she was only three years old. What? I'm not supposed to use that sort of language. Sorry, can we just break that down for a minute? Kyrie was not on Destiny Island at that age. Sorry, guys. This is what I'm here for. The Lord. Um, Fucking Christ. Kyrie's mom popped on her ass. Is that the... Um, the baddest baddest motherfucker, popped her it? on the fucking mouth. Pious Pop- motherfucker. Her. So that, Kyrie's dire- mom punched her in the face. So is that a direct <laughs> line taken from Kingdom Hearts? No, it's not. Because so Kyrie, they... you really only see when she's a child with her grandmother. So and they live in a different question. world. Okay, question. Okay. Is Sora indeed the flyest motherfucker? He's my fave anyway. Okay. So I would indeed say he's fly. But he's literally like... <laughs> Imagine me, but in a video game world, like just not a fucking clue what's going on, and they're just like, "Hey, this Blanky looks, little shit." This looks. He's actually quite short. He's a small boy. He's gangly. I give him that. <coughs> he's he's got <coughs> limbs for days. Anyway, about to fucking get pounced on. About to get fucking pounded. I feel very uncomfortable about this entire situation. Can we just like for a moment just pause and just take the grammar into consideration? So look, it okay. just. It's all lowercase, by the way. There's no capitals. It's okay. Kairi was it once, yeah? Kairi. Kairi had once said Sora was the flyest motherfucker she ever knew. (laughs) Yeah. No full stop. And then it jumps to a new paragraph and says, and then her mom popped her on the fucking mouth because she was only three years old and not supposed to use that sort of language. Is this still all lowercase even when they move on to the new paragraph? Yeah, everything's lowercase. Wait, wait. So then Sora's a boy, right? Sora's a boy. Riku's a boy. Kairi's a girl. Okay. Okay, good to know. Okay. All right. All right, then. Yeah. Sora's the main character of the game. Okay. Do love some boy love. Okay. Do you want to hear more? Of course. Excellent. Of course. These. This is just my favorite video game characters. Yeah, in a situation that, that I don't believe is canon. But hey. Might be another game. It might be there. in the new one. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm. Yeah. Could be. Okay. Could be. Y- yes. Riku, you're scaring me. He looked away. Boy. Rikus. And that's how it's spelled. <laughs> Rikus. Rikus. Rikus intentions were hungry, it seemed. Sorry. Rikus intentions were hungry. <laughs> Rickus. That frisky Rickus. So let's assume that Rickus is supposed still to be Rikus. Riku. But there's but no, no apostrophe. Okay. Also like, or apostrophe. There's sorry, there's as my no English teacher calls letters. it. Yeah, there's no um, capital letters in this novel. In the names yeah. or anything? No, no, nothing. It goes full stop and there was barely even a space before the next like, sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Let's assume it's Riku's. So let's say Riku's intentions were hungry. Of course. It seems there's no comment. You have to go straight into it. His intentions were hungry. They would talk about fruit a couple of sentences ago. So maybe he's just like, yo, damn, I need a fruit salad after this. Oh, God, thank God. Right. Right. Is that how they power up before sex? Again, it's not really elaborated in the backstory of the game, but um, it's always a potential. Right? You know, if a dude eats a fuck ton of fruit, and I think this applies to ladies as well. Pineapple. I've heard mainly ladies. real good. 
No, the same with dudes. Really? Yeah, I have a friend who dated a vegan and was like, blowies are the best. Mm. I, yes. <laughs> I do love a good pina colada after sex, oh, you know? I bet you do. Do you like getting caught in the rain? Can we get back to the yeah, video we get back I'm to sorry. Yeah, sorry, Nikki's nursing the biggest boner we've ever experienced. Yeah, God, that's massive. She's like a tripod. Oh God. <laughs> Just like the tripod, this microphone's standing on. <sighs> Where the fuck are we? Oh, yeah, okay. Rickus' intentions were hungry. Rickus' intentions intent- were indeed hungry. It really seemed. Got. Hungry, it seemed. It, it seemed. seemed. Okay. There's doubt there. Yeah. There's the Merrill's. There's we, Merrill's. We have there's to keep Merrill's. our minds. Yeah. We have to keep our minds open because yeah. coming here, he might just be pouncing on him because there's a spider in his hair. Yeah. Or if there's a stray bullet on his way. We don't know where this is going. It could go anywhere. Are there bullets in the Kingdom of Hearts? The universe okay. kingdom hearts sorry you're I'm so sorry. close every time i try you do you is learn it so much it's, it's kingdom, kingdom hearts, hearts. Wow. it's not kingdom of hearts which is a, kingdom kingdom hearts that a lot of people in the grammatically thing. incorrect it's already. just kingdom hearts um they're conventional guns no but there are a couple of characters who have like final fantasy style weapons that will be gun blades that okay. are part gun part sword so like one of the characters leon who is squall from uh Final Fantasy series. He has a gun blade and literally shoots. He can shoot. He shoots bullets at Sora in okay. the first game, like tutorial fight. And then there's another character uh, called Zigbar who shoots like purple lasers out of. He has twin pistols. That's his like weapon. So there's bullets per se, but not bang bang pop a cap in that motherfucker. <laughs> oh my of god! I mean, you, you are the <laughs> whitest person right now. That is the only way I can equate to real real, real guns okay party um, alright so, so, so anyway why did we get onto bullets because um, he might be he might be getting pounced on because he could be getting shot with a spider on him Riku could be involved in gangland that activity. could be a bullet of different yeah, nature we don't even involved. know where they are who right knows now. what happens on it, they're most likely on Destiny Islands if it took place after Kingdom Hearts 2 and that's when most of the smush takes place and i just love how we're getting post-game. context to this this is great like this we, is what I, i'm here for i'm imagining them on a beach somewhere the sunset Fucking and... destiny islands like okay so they live like on a mainland and destiny islands is like this lovely tropical beach nice. that the kids sail to and it's like lovely big trees and they have tree houses and the beach and it's nice water and they sit on like a, a palm tree kind of a paper fruit tree you have your hand raised roshi <laughs> yes i have a question is it basically fireman's island what the fuck is fireman's island is that not like the place where like gay people go Fireman's Island. Oh, is that not a <laughs> no, the Roshi. place where gay people Fireman's know. Island. Is that not a thing? <laughs> what the I fuck are you talking have about? A clue. The place no. where gay people No, because there's like a thing where like men go to Fireman's I mean, Island. Generally over here other. they go to the George. But Fireman's Island. You definitely have a real thing. <laughs> Never heard of Fireman's they Island. They referenced it in RuPaul's Drag Race season eight. All right. Anyway, well, oh, are we? Is this from uh, fanfic.net? We're, Pop? Yeah. Yes. We're have you read this before? I haven't. Have you enjoyed this before? I unfortunately no. I'm sad I didn't find this as a as a youngin back in 2012. But um, might have been quite quite a popular place for for fan fiction indeed. Well, hopefully we'll return later with oh, more things boy. to research. Yeah. More, I can just give you a list of Nikki's things. favorite things that we can. A list destroy. of video games I find beloved. I do really like Nikki's good... favorite things. Yeah. Okay. Christmas every day. Uh, anyway, sorry, back to the fan fiction. Focus is hungry intentions. <laughs> all right, you're going, all right. <laughs> you have not gone anywhere in this fanfic. It's going to take us like an hour easily to get through a chapter. How oh, many yeah. chapters are in this? Oh. Did they finish it? I, I wonder think. four. <laughs> I'm sure they finished. Oh my god. Come give on, Riku so- a deep voice. <sighs> I swear to god. Are you, are you, when I do the voices. Same. Just give him a little bit more of a buffer voice. Okay. I don't even know who's speaking right now. That's <laughs> why I need, I need the differentiation. Because like, okay, no okay, Sora's going to be soft boy. Right. Come on, Sora. Even a goody yow two shoes yaoi yaoi <laughs> yeah what is, yaoi's like is when, it like, like boy love in anime oh yeah. i didn't know that it's remember like, when we were in japan and there was like we found the, the dirty section and it was just oh. a lot of graphic boy on boy yeah. manga oh that's yaoi yeah. yeah do you remember that episode ah. of south park where it's um it's craig and tweak craig and tweak and they're, they're boyfriends oh, and the the asian kids i yeah. think in the school right? and then uh, fix about them in the game that's like start shipping them I don't think I've seen that. In it's the- a part in the Fracture Book Hole game. You, yeah. The collectibles <gasps> in that game is uh, Yowie Fan Art. Which we'll be playing on Ideally. our channel in the future. an indetermined amount of time. I mean, it took us two months to sit at a kitchen table. Who knows? Words. Eventual. Time. Okay, keep going. Okay. I need this. No one's taking <laughs> off their clothes yet. All right. The- no sores, clothes are in a puddle. Like, I'm fell sorry. off like a pot- puddle, yeah. I'm he sorry. might still underwear. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Please burp more directly into the microphone. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Ask me, shall we? Okay. Go. Come on, Sora. Even a goody yow two shoes like you 
has to have wanted some intercourse, right? <laughs> you go. But Riku. Oh, no. Riku sighed. Oh, oh, Don't God. tell me. Donald and Goofy told me to wait until I was ready. Oh, my. Yeah. Um, I like say, Donald and Goofy are giving him sex advice. I know. That's actually really responsible of them. Bless. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'd prefer that to be in the first chapter, just that conversation itself. <laughs> yeah. You know? They sit the him down and, and they're like, now we Or sex education. Sora. Yeah, I like to think that they'd sit him down and be like, now Sora. Yeah, we're asking. <laughs> 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 Fucking. <laughs> That's what's saying. The demon. demons. <laughs> Donald and Goofy told me to wait until I was ready. Yeah. Safe sex is good sex. Sora's is that eyes... was there a question mark at the end of that? Yes. Yeah. Oh my creaky, why don't you know this? Sora's eyes lit up. Yes, exactly. You've waited long enough, and so have I. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sora tried oh. to shove him off, but Riku quickly shoved his tongue in his mouth. Yeah. Sora kind of liked it because Riku had a piece of gum he was chewing, and it was Sora's favorite flavor. This gooby seems... flavor. This gummy. Go- gooby. Gooby. Gooby flavor. Gooby. G-O-O-B-Y. Is that a Go- thing? I d- is Maybe? that like the meme, Gooby? Do- like Dolan, please? No, Gooby? Oh. That's that meme. I don't think that's what they meant. In 2012, <laughs> it might have maybe been. even like he meant to spell goofy. It's a misprint. Like goofy so far, flavored. goofy flavored. I don't know. Maybe fucking goofy tastes good. I don't know. Who knows? I haven't tasted him. Sora no, moaned more. quietly, and Riku stopped, satisfied that Sora moaned. Mm. Well, I like this gum. Sora replied, <laughs> "I'm a bell. I'm oh. a bell." <laughs> We're not going into that story right now. Maybe another time. Riku just about flipped a shit. <laughs> Now, if, all right, let's repeat that line. <laughs> oh, boy. Riku just about flipped a shit. Of course. Riku's flipping a shit right now. Okay. Flip, no, he flipped a shit. He, he flipped his shit. a shit. A shit. Singular shit. Gotcha. Sora, you moaned. Mm. Your knee was on my nuts. And you stole my gum. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't have much flavor anyways. I'm ready for sex, too. I think I waited, like, 30 minutes. So now my food is digested. I didn't know it was swimming. Is that is this actually <laughs> no. what is written in front of you? I'm not embellishing <laughs> at all. Oh god, I inhaled my wine. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Okay, okay keep yeah. going, boys. Keep going. Riku looked at him. His food digested. Oh my god. Thirty minutes. Okay. Is this? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Digestion. Can we just break this down for a second? <laughs> yeah. The this... way it's written on the page is like a haiku. Yeah. <laughs> Riku looked it's at It's not a haiku. Yeah, it's almost. What is it? Almost. 575? I don't know. I didn't. I don't it's, know. it's snowing on Mount it's, it's snowing on Mount Fuji. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. That's all I know about a haiku. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to break this down for you and read it as it's written. Yes, please. A please poem do. by Chain of Roxas. Okay. Riku looked at him. His food digested. 30 minutes. Okay. That's how it's written. Did it say the word separate, okay? Or yes. Like yeah, yeah. Letter, oh okay. Word. Separate lines. There's only one full stop in this whole sentence. Beautiful. And, and the, fir- the full stop is Riku looked at him. Please continue because okay. this can really only get more graphic. Riku looked at him. His food digested. 30 minutes. Okay. Jesus Christ. Bend over then. Oh no. <laughs> Riku waited to see if Sora compli- compli- complied. <laughs> Sorry. Kampai! Kampai! Hey, Kampai! Kampai! Riku waited to see if Sora complied, and he did. Oh. Yeah. Mm, hang on. Read it. read it in your brain first so you can read it in one go. Mm-hmm. Read it, Emily. Okay. Say it. Say it out loud. loud. Okay, give me a sec. I regret this immediately. That's the wrong fan fiction, by the way. It's okay. Um. Be gentle, the- Oh my god! Ow! 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 Oh no! Sweet Ventus! Ouch! Riku sighed Sweet at- Ventus? Yes! What Sweet Ventus? Ventus. Ventus is another character. Oh, f- that's inside Sora, like whose heart was damaged at the end of a different game and lives oh. inside Sora and kind of got out and that's why Roxas looks like Ventus. Anyway, oh, like so- Like a threesome. No. Sexy. No, not at all. Anyway, <laughs> he has no place in this fan fiction is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay. I don't know. He's clearly Sora's uh, lord and saviour that they pr- <coughs> praise oh, to. Oh, boy. Okay, let's try that again. Be gentle. To- oh, my God. Ow. Ow. Sweet Ventus. Ouch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Riku sighed angrily. What? Sora, it's not even in yet. I'm putting the lube on. Where do you get the lube, first off? Because, like, what? Like, I'm sure he's been planning this for a while. Just like pulls it Has out. he? Pulls it. Oh, he, you know what? He maybe. You know he what? Used... Again, not in the backstory of the game. Doesn't um, mean it's not happening. Oh, gosh. I think he they might. They all have, yeah. like, lots of pockets on their clothes, so he could have had lube on him for, like, he could 10 have, years. He could have used the puddle of clothes as the lube. Oh, Jesus. It is a puddle now. Yeah, it's anyway. also probably doubles the condom once it dries out. Jesus uh, so. There's no mention of a condom here yet. Good point. Mm. Despite the fact that I have discussed the safe question, sex. The Riku was oh, questioning oh, about oh, safe sex. Oh, sweet Jesus. Um, explain what the lube is next. <clears throat> oh, no. Sora was still yelling in pain. Oh, what the and fuck? And that's when Riku realized his lube was actually hot sauce. Yikes. <laughs> Did it say the word yikes? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it said this? hot sauce. No full stop. New paragraph, yikes, new paragraph. I am really concerned how someone made that mix up. Because one, you have to go to a supermarket. You didn't go into a chemist to get hot sauce. I'm really concerned how someone fucking got seven likes of this. I'm sorry. Anyway, I am just more so concerned how we got this far in the process, in the plan, with a pocket full of hot sauce. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of hot sauce. sauce. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of hot sauce. Oh, oh. I, say what you want, but you're never gonna face me. Gonna find my best friend on the beach, yeah. Oh, oh. Well, that is staying in the edge. Take me away. Take me away. Take me away. You're so <laughs> Anyway. Pause just to analyze some of the grammatical errors where there seems to be a change. Go now. easy on Chain of Roxas. I feel like they were. 12. They probably were quite young in 2012 writing this. They did this. fairly well for not getting the number seven. No, sorry, not number seven. Seven upvotes. You know, I just feel like they definitely wrote this when they were young. And there's probably fanfic out there that got real popular. I think this sounds too personal. I think she's Chains of, Chain of Roxas. Oh, God. I'm not. I am suspecting that perhaps. I'm not. I just. All right, love. Oh. All right. Oh, okay, it gets weird. I just feel like with the tone of this, they were probably quite young. It gets weird. And I want right. I want to know if they wrote more content. Okay. So Sora was still yelling. Oh, you're gonna like the next line, so you're gonna. Oh, be okay. Surprised. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sora was still yelling in pain, and that's when Riku realized his lube was actually hot sauce. Yikes. Yikes. Really? So he <laughs> gently shoved his keyblade into Sora's keyhole. <gasps> I was so hoping they bring in the keyblades. <laughs> oh no. I was so hoping they were going to do this. That is a euphemism, my friend. That is. So he gently shoved his keyblade into Sora's keyhole and Sora was moaning softly. Riku liked the sound of this. Then he heard sniffling. Oh no, someone always cries. Sora? Sora, are you crying? Oh, Riku couldn't believe his ears. <laughs> believe his ears. <laughs> one, one, one. Abba, oi. Crying? Wow, do this happen. Okay, so let's break this down for a minute. For God's sake. Riku could not believe his air was one 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 at but I crying. Who do this ha- happen? It gets very like when you're 14 and think this is how drunk people text. Anyway, sorry guys, I drew the visual reference. That one's <laughs> sore as keyblade. That's a ball and penis. No, it's not. That's <laughs> that like the handle. A ball and tick, Nikki. And like the, the, that kind of is meant to look like crown. I'm very poor at drawing these. And Riku's one is basically like a big evil blade with a wing coming off of it. And then on the like, there's a bit that goes around the handle. Hilt? Yeah, like the hilt kind of thing. One is... Oh, it's a handguard. Oh, whatever. Anyway, it's not a conventional handguard. Anyway, whatever it is. uh, One's like a wing and the other is like... We fucking study combat archaeology and all. I know we did. I got an A I collect swords. So did I. Nailed it. I thought it was a really good one. Yeah, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> bit of context. <laughs> uh, backtrack. These two nerds have... I was have just going to edit it out, but okay. De- well, one has a master's degree in archaeology, and the other has a master's degree in art history. And I have a master's degree in being a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, anyway, if they actually use their keyblades, that's the visual representation. Yeah, I don't think I want that in me, to be honest. Balls, vagina. Yeah, I feel like it <laughs> does look like balls, though. Remember? This is actually, look, I have these tattooed you know, on my wrist. Do you know what it looks like? This is kind of oh, pretty much what I have tattooed yeah, on my wrist. Yeah, it kind of is. W- one of them, not the one with balls on it. No, no, because mine's like a key with the crown on it. Anyway. Though it looks like it looks like dust in the turkey, a little bit. It looks like dust. Oh in the shit! Turkey. It kind of does. Where are you? In like a weird this? abstract way. We're <laughs> artists, okay? This is how we see it. We're not artists. We're artists. I see it in. myself now. That looks the big nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, I just needed to paint that mental image in your mind. Yeah, I could die Riku's happy. keyblade 
is in source. Yeah, so Rika could couldn't believe his ears. One 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 aboy crying. How do this happen? <laughs> Sorry, this is stroking me gently. Yeah, go Killing on. Killing me softly with his. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> thought other people would join in. <laughs> it's fine. I'd fucking kill you. As long as my solo on that joke. Okay. Oh fuck! I forgot what they sound like. Riku was just a deep voice, and he was like Sora. And Ours for Rasky. And then Sora kind of sounded like a white girl who was just in Starbucks for twenty minutes and just can't get the frappuccino he wants. Okay, if calm down, Iron my, Hansen. Tell me my words. You have to save me on my bath. Anyway, that's the voices you did. Cool. Thanks, Bram. I got how, you. Fam. How much of a tangent we went off? We forgot the voice character. The character. <laughs> I did she this a lot. Does this all the time. <laughs> You'll find we were out. playing puzzle games, and she was like, "He went from being like French, Italian, Jamaican because she forgot how to do an accent mid sentence." <laughs> anyway, this is the talent. No excuses. This is just who I am. Does it hurt? Riku asked, hoping to help at least alleviate the pain for him. Oh, big word. <laughs> now, oh my god R- R- Riku I'm I'm just so happy oh, shit. That you My <laughs> My best friend <laughs> Would take my virginity away He blew his gross buggers Into the condom Riku was going to use It was Papu fruit flavoured Just for Sora to enjoy oh. Sucking on something Okay so here's the thing Oh um, my word Oh god this is... How is like, he blowing the boogers into the condom? Like, through is the he, actual condom? I'm like, is he putting it up to like his nose, trunk. the ring? Like, like, like a, a miniature trunk yeah. that's exhaling into oh, it. Oh, Riku, I'm a fucking elephant! <laughs> Isn't this really quiet? I'm just imagining, because there's the only description we have of the positions right now is... Uh, like, so Riku's just bent over at a 90 degree angle. So yeah, so I'm just blowing it into a condom. Never said anything about lying down. So I'm, never said anything about, like, any... Like, the, the landscape around. Yeah. He's not even like, bent I, over anything. Anyone who knows Kingdom Hearts will kind of... If they gave us a world, I'd be like, oh yeah, I can kind of visually interpret the where beach. the fuck this might be happening. If he's over but there. But I'm assuming Sora's just at a 90 degree angle on the beach. But then with the condom, then Riku must have walked around him and held it out like, yeah. I was blowing into Did this. Did he like throw it into the sand? He's like, safe sex question mark? Is that how it works? <laughs> but he respected condom. the safe sex. So, all right, well... well We'll leave these pedantics for later. <laughs> oh boy. This might get explained later on. We okay. have, I'm sure we have read barely any of this. I'm sure the context will be Oh, we have read later. barely any of this. <laughs> it was okay. Papu flavoured. Yeah. Just for Sora to enjoy sucking on something. Well, Riku was done. He was going to fuck his girly, firm, sweet, succulent, hot ass and be over with it. Oh, what? So that's what he did. He drooled all over it and buttfucked Sora at the same sound. <laughs> Nikki, the next line. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Is this, he was reading it. Oh god. Let me just start that again. I'm sorry, <laughs> Oh my god, no, no, no. This is. Okay, just <laughs> we need to do this again. Okay. Riku was done. He was gonna fuck, her, fuck his girly, firm, sweet, succulent, hot ass. Oh, and be over with it. So that's what he did. He drooled all over it and bucked fucked Sora at the speed of sound. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. I can't, Nikki. Stop it. So he said, but fuck sore at the speed of sound. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. But it doesn't matter how slow you go. As long as you do not stop. Three. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> is this like, how many chapters are in this? I don't know, but we gotta go fast. <laughs> I fucking, if Sonic is with us, <laughs> we can go forward. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. I don't Got know. places I, to go. I like so how butt fucked is one word. So I nearly read that with butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> You're my butterfly. Sugar, Sugar baby. baby. <laughs> butt fuck Sora. And, sorry, not acts. And the speed of sound. <laughs> and the speed of sound. Riku is a busy, busy man. Two penises. He's like this horse, like scissors. They he's open the, up. He's an echidna. He's just got like... Or Weird like flowered t- penis. Tangled dicks. Have you ever seen this, Emily? What the an actual... Echidna penis. An echidna penis. Like, th- is this has... an anime thing? No, they're animals. Hang on, I need to Google they this. Have, they have like m- multiple headed penises. I'm going to go incognito for Wait. this. <laughs> <laughs> Deferring me to an echidna... Echidna. Echidna. That's the thing I said. That's No, that's just a fucking spiny anteater. Maybe I'll type it's it. Local, it's, like... it's dick. Uh-oh. <laughs> for fuck's sake. She's I don't want the fucking semantics of the average lifespan. One yet. shaft, four heads. 
Yeah. Like one shaft? <laughs> yeah. No, hang on. It's, I need to. That's exactly what it image. is. Image. Oh my good it's god. It's like the weird, Demogorgon. Yeah, it's like a weird flower. It is like the fucking Demogorgon. What there the fuck is this? It's an echidna's dick. What the f- <sighs> And that's Knuckles from fucking. That's what Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog is. He's an echidna. What? Uh, oh, that, it, yeah, you're right, what, actually. What's that lovely uh, Knuckles oh, picture that just guys, came up? Guys, is it the foot porn one? No, what? The foot porn one always comes up if you Google Sonic. No, but I'm Googling Sonic. Right no, now. okay, no. Before we, we could do that, we'll I want you to Google the... something because a lot of people don't believe it's true. It's um, if it's... you want to get a photo of a human's knuckles, surprisingly difficult. Google, Google just knuckles, just the word knuckles. Knuckles. It's all Sonic the Hedgehog. It's all thing. Sonic the Hedgehog, and the foot porn should be should come up quite soon. It's oh, normally okay. in the third row if you're on a on a browser. Who the Let fuck would be googling knuckles anyway? Like, if you need knuckles. a photo of a human hand, just look at your own. Now, now, guys. Also, I'm getting no foot porn. That okay, I'm don't. I think it comes up with the next. Oh, there's like a Moana crossover. Oh Jesus, why yeah, is there it's a Moana cute. crossover? No, don't. Oh God, show no, it to me. No, it's cute. Look at it. He's, he's Maui. Okay, that's actually yeah. That's the, it's surprisingly now, unporny. Okay, so you've googled knuckles and you've been met only with uh, knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. So do Google oh, my phone just knuckles, switched off. Oh, if you Google knuckles human, um, you <laughs> just get humanoid knuckles fan art. Well, that sounds horrific. Terrifying. Anyway, anyway, I just wanted to point that out if we were on that tangent. So. So the chapter. Chapter one. Okay, they did nothing really to establish uh, where we are. They just assumed I've played the game and I know I can just contextualize this. They're using two characters. I feel like if you used any other video game or like TV show and put those two characters, like one is a big buff guy and one is like just the smaller, like more innocent bottom. guy. Yeah, the bottom. I feel like you can get this fan fiction. I have We're to be not... completely honest. Okay. My biggest problem with this entire fanfic is, in fact, the spelling and grammar. Yeah. You know, I that's again why I assume they were else. young. I don't know because yeah. that shit wasn't checked. No, it wasn't, and um, he probably should have read over it a few times before p- putting it on the internet. So you know what? I'm enthralled. This is a compelling storyline. Absolutely. I'm ready to see how much here. ass gets fucked. Is hot sauce relevant to Kingdom Hearts? Not at all. Okay, that, so that was like came out of fucking nowhere. That was nowhere. on their own back. Also, they hot thought. sauce was spelt wrong. It was spelt as one word. It's meant to be two. No, my biggest critique would be um, I felt there was no character development and not enough foreplay. They do ass- exactly. Not they enough they foreplay. do assume that you know. They do what's going assume on. like I thought it was weird they used like Ventus another character. They Kinda, just assume you know who he nice is. Nice little throwback. If anything, it's there. But but again, like there's lore issues again, just randomly mentioning Ventus at that point, assumedly um, in 2012. Yeah, Birth by Sleep would have been out, but Sora probably doesn't know who Ventus is at this point. He gets introduced to him kind of later on um, as someone he has to save. And then as well, Kyrie. They didn't meet Kyrie till she was uh, a couple of years older, I think. So a little bit of background context. Kyrie lived in a different world. And one of the characters from the prequel game who traveled with Ventus was named Aqua. And she saw Kyrie was like pure light. And she was like, I want to protect this kid if I'm not around. So she put a spell on her that if ever something happened and her world was to fall to darkness, she would be transported away to someone that will take care of her, i.e. Sora. She got transported to an island where Sora and Riku were. Um, so Is she going to show up in the next chapter? Kyrie <laughs> literally falls out of the fucking sky when she's a child. Her world gets destroyed. It's assuming her grandma dies and everything. Her oh, planet, sad. her world is basically thrown into darkness and she has really no memory of it and just wakes up as a kid on a fucking island with no one it's never really elaborated more in the game you don't know really kind of that struggle she's just kind of there but anyway a lore issue as well uh Kyrie's mother is never a character we're ever introduced to you only ever see her with her grandmother and I think she was a, like a little bit older before she got taken away Either she's way. probably not a child abuser what the whole fucking <laughs> pop yes pop her face but Kyrie being a child abuser I'm like I <laughs> No, she's I a child. Know. There's other kids on the island. She just had to beat herself up a little. <laughs> <laughs> she just misses it. It's like, <laughs> she says swear words and waits and slaps herself. <laughs> it's like, Mama, come back. Oh <laughs> Kyrie has a multiple personality disorder, I guess. Um, but um, right. little bits there, like mm. small like lore grievances I have. But they do assume you know these characters yeah. and you would know their role okay. as Riku being big buff boy and Sora being small boy. Now, how, you know, go ahead. Okay. Now, how would you rate it in two categories. How would you rate it as a fan? Read my fucking mind, oh, man. Oh, I am shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. I am the witch here. I am the witch. Oh, shit. That's true. Uh, so as ha- a fan. <coughs> yeah. Um, of Kingdom Hearts. Not of as a fan of, of Kingdom Hearts, I'd give it a very low rating. Out of five. Oh, shit. Out of five, I'd, pro- I'd give it a one. They tried. Limp dick. They Got tried, him. but in terms of like Kingdom Hearts content, they could have taken it a lot okay. further. There, okay, in terms of places we know. Of entertainment value. 
Oh. <laughs> Immeasurable. <laughs> <laughs> this is now if I was reading this solo, probably again quite low. I'm having a, a good old time having it read to me. Um, does it, does by it... two people who have no idea what's really going on. And I've had a lot of wine. And I've had a lot of wine. I mean, there's another bottle of Prosecco there. I think round two. I think we need to crack into that eventually. <laughs> uh, so, but do you feel that it's satisfied any sort of horn dog no. needs within you? No. no. You don't feel satisfied? No. We're I already think, on chapter okay, one. Okay, again, there was, we discussed this during, during the reading. There was no, like, kind of foreplay or anything. There was no, like, bill to, there's a tension. There's the will they, won't there's they. No there's no real storyline like, there. Because normally, okay... In, like, kind of fan fictions, you get, like, kind of background to the characters. You find out what their relationship yeah. is at the moment. It normally would follow, like, Sora's perspective of being like, oh, man, my best friend, he's so buff, want to fuck him kind of thing. But, like, stolen glances and, like, little things like that. But this, it's straight up, like, Riku's like, I'm going to pound Sora <laughs> with his hot sauce. And Sora's like, yeah, and sure, And don't forget, Sora's just, like, thinks of Donald the Goofy and he's like, I'm like yeah it, from, from it. what I can remember about the first chapter is Riku pretty much fully undressed Sora mm -hmm. and then kissed big him. puddle of clothes big puddle oh, of clothes puddle I, of clothes was like opening statement oh, wait, kind of thing back on. you want you, regardless of how many chapters it is you want to kind of be brought on a journey and this is yeah. just getting straight to the smut and it's not even the best smut no. I'm really I feel again this person was probably very young they prob um, they, there's still no mention was of probably a young teenage girl just for their sheer misunderstanding of anatomy so you I'm I'm pretty sure it was you it's yeah. not me <laughs> what would your fanfic name be I don't fucking know it would probably be like a mix of favourite characters from totally unrelated things like um oh. Professor Layton XX Demix XX has to have a couple of X's like, Softcore exit. Oh God, Jesus. There's probably fanfic of that. Um, there definitely anyway. is. Do you know uh, what? Not please getting ideas here. do not look here. up Professor Layton Kingdom Hearts crossover. I think we might have to. Um, <laughs> anyway, it would probably be something like really unrelated characters. As a as a youngin, that's what I probably would have um, been steered towards. Maybe something to do with the Joker. I was always fond of an old Joker username. I was really obsessed with like Iron. Like just the word Iron being in different in usernames. I can't remember my fucking DeviantArt username. <laughs> DeviantArt. <laughs> oh my god, I that remember would that. Your, that would be your fan. I think my DeviantArt oh, like was like Iron Nick or something. See, yeah, I was really into Iron Man, like the Iron Man movies as well. So I think I just put Iron and then my name. Okay. Um. Oh fucking god, I don't know if there's even any art on that. I don't know if I deactivated that account. <laughs> there's probably cosplay photos up there from when I'm like oh, fifteen. Can't wait. Well, well, we're gonna find that. That's our next. That's our next adventure. Don't. All right, Nick. Cool. Yeah. What would your fanfic name be? Okay, so if I was gonna write fanfic, sexy or otherwise, I would probably like if I'm looking back to my teenage self, probably either gonna be Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Or Skullduggery Pleasant. Okay. Massive fan of both of those things. Proud of only one of those things. <laughs> so, <laughs> which one will shock you? Okay. Which one so, would, would in, like regardless of what you would have written, uh, maybe because mine probably would have just been Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon. In Digimon. It would have been either Twilight or Skullduggery Pleasant. If I'm okay, what so, would have influenced your username? Here's the thing. Let's go. Okay. Since I was about 14 years old, my username for everything, as you know, has been Valkyrie Kane. Yeah. Character in Skullduggery Pleasant. Okay. So you would have probably used that. Probably would have used Valkyrie Kane. Um, probably if not taken. Valkyrie Kane, I have. Oh God. So up until the age of 15, when I grew some fucking sense, I know. You this know where this is name. going. Yeah. Starbucks. I wrote it's not Starbucks it's not the Starbucks no one? I do love Battlestar Galactica I probably actually do you know what I probably Battle would use Starbucks Battlestar Galactica is that what it was <laughs> no get out oh of God. your own house yeah um, no I probably okay so I wrote it over everything Mrs. Emily Cullen which was quite oh, awkward when I was dating a dude whose last name was Cullen thank yeah. god that didn't work out <laughs> oh, I know that it probably be. would have been something along the lines of Valkyrie Starbuck Cullen Cool. Oh, that's pretty. Ro. Do you know what? Ro. <laughs> I there's a lot of words, and I I bet it's taken. You know what? I Fuck bet it. It have to check taken. that out. Make a fanfic.net account. Valkyrie Starbuck Cullen. And see if you can get that username. Yeah. Fuck it. Ro. Fucking. Do you know what? I find that the name I use for like my Snapchat, particular, I think that's fairly fan fiction title mm -hmm. good enough but i also used to be obsessed with mm -hmm. twilight vampires in general mm, gotcha so something like queen of darkness or vampire something okay. but turns out when i was 12 i used to write fan fiction before i knew what fan fiction was no was it you recess? did not i did it was a show called recess um, recess no <laughs> one day one day 
Um, We've talked sh- about this many a time. Yeah. What What were you into? I was into a show called... I told you this. I don't think I told you this. It's a show called Help, I'm a Teenage Outlaw. You've mentioned this to me. Do you me. know what? I, it used to be like the last show that would play on Nickelodeon before like the program interference went on until 6 a.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was about these kids that were like, they're teenagers and they were all outlaws. And it was like my favorite show ever. But it only had like very few episodes. I think it only had like six episodes. So I used to write my own stories and plot and kind of retell the stories was more Cute. interesting. Can you dig those up? I actually pretty sure one of them's still I, in my house somewhere. I think though, as a kid, nearly everyone, well, I know I did anyway, kind of not necessarily fell down writing a fanfic thing, but like would insert themselves into the storyline and oh, would yeah. make their own like original absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I have, okay, I was obsessed with Pokemon. I still really, really? love Pokemon, but really? as a child, I was like obsessed. I still have Pokedex entries and drawings <laughs> I made when I was like eight or nine. I made I made a Pokemon that looked like my dog, and he could turn into Aww. the ocean and stuff. Like he's he could turn into water. I have like all these things that I drew, and I still have them. That's that so I was cute. like, I want I want to make Pokemon. I want to make my own Pokemon. I thought these are really cool, and I thought I think when you're little, you'll you'll want to nearly add to the thing you care about, and you'll want to be in it as well. So I don't I won't I don't think it's weird that anyone like writes fan fiction. No, I don't no, think no. so either. No, because no. it's just you want to take the story further. Now in saying that, when it gets smutty, that's when <laughs> that's not that's necessary. when old Nikki um gets a bit like oh boy yeah oh yeah. boy because I mean when we were in Japan weird. I I said it to you like I get anime yeah I understand the obsession with anime I don't understand why it has to be sexualized. Yes, we, we talked about this in Japan. In Japan, it's hypersexualized yeah, in I terms of like that. you can go into any shop and buy a figurine of a very busty girl, scantily clad. Yeah, um, usually the character a giant is a teenager. Sword. Yes, but then again, age of consent is very young. Yeah, over it's like there. twelve there, isn't it? Something it's twelve, 12 or thirteen. 14, yeah, it's that kind of range. But um, a lot of animes take place in like a high school setting, so you'll have kids who are legally of an age of consent. But would be very young in terms of our standards. Yeah. Because, like, our age consent is 17. Yeah, and it just... And you'll have kids in a school setting. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, but that's just just a different culture thing. That's just the art and everything. We discussed it with a few friends of mine. We were on about that. It's interesting because it allows for people to have that sort of sexual escape through animation without having to, like, watch... Oh, there's probably so many people out there whose sexual awakening were, like, cartoon characters. Mine was the uh, intro song to True Blood, and that was the moment... The intro song! Oh my god, it's quite sexy, because I was, like, 14 watching True Blood, and I remember I should not have been watching True Blood, because there were some pretty raunchy scenes in that. The first episode was... Blood, so I don't know what to say. Oh, the song. The song by Chase Everett. It's called Bad Things. I wanna do bad things with you. (laughs) And there's like a fucking harmonica (laughs) When you walk in the air went out and all the shadows filled up with doubt. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know who you think you are but before the night is through. Copyright. (laughs) I wanna do bad things with you. I'm the kind. To, oh no, we're not going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the moment has passed. It's a sexy song. The same with um. There was a, no actually. Buttons by the Pussycat Dolls. Oh. Buttons. It's not by Buttons. Yeah. That's yeah. a good song anyway. I'm glad we brought that up. <laughs> that might, Jace might... Everett. Bad things. Great song. Great tune. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think one of my names would have definitely been something about vampires. But I was really mm. into the idea of uh, medieval outlaws. So of course like you were. Masked something. <laughs> I like mass mass vampire grove. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably. Do you know what? I nail on the head. I'd be the sort of person that would see that name and be so mad. That, Damn it! That's such a good name. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. But something mass like the vigilante or something like that. <laughs> vigilante. Yeah. I just wanted. I wanted. But it wasn't even that I wanted to be Valkyrie Kane. I was convinced I was because yeah. she was. So when the Skullgree Peasant books came out, I was the same age every year the books came out. Cute. So um, I think it starts off in Valkyrie's 12, and I think I read it at 13. Yeah. But she is from Dublin. Mm-hmm. She's quite slim and petite, but she gets taller as they go along. That's where the difference that's kinda, where it that, no, that's where the difference happens yeah. because you never I did not get part. taller. Um, but she's dark hair, quite feisty, a little bit fighty. Um, fucking total weird. bitch. She's from Dublin. <laughs> And she's a bit of a snarky cunt. Do you? Yeah. That uh, is you. I know. <laughs> anyway, I met the author several times. And every time I met him, I was like, if you have a movie or a TV show, I'm being fucking Valkyrie. And now I'm a little bit old for that. 
Yeah, but maybe past your prime. Exactly. To play a twelve-year-old. I mean, girl you still have your seventeen-year-old headshots. Just like, don't tell them you're not seventeen exactly. anymore. Exactly. Catfishing everyone. Am I right? But yeah, I've decided that if I can't be Valkyrie, which is looking unlikely considering I'm twenty-three, so I'm and about I don't know t- eleven years of, older. I don't know if they've said anything about a movie Shh. being made. <laughs> Either way, sorry, I'm no, sorry. No, they've kept talking about it. He had the Warner Warner Brothers owned the rights for a while, but um, Derek Landy, the author, wasn't happy about. Well, this is has been rumored in the community. Uh, Derek Landy wasn't happy about where the script was going. Yeah. Um. Apparently, they, Warner Brothers changed everything in the rewrite. Ooh. Okay. And Derek Landy was like, "Well, fuck you. We're not gonna do that to my beloved school degree pleasant and let the rights run out." So there are there is a movie script. There are rights. Yeah. But. Um, it's probably not the done. movie they want to make. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, digressing. I'm trying to sor- sorrows now. I've decided that. Neither Badass. of us have read these books. Femme fuck- oh, I know this. I know me. you've lent me the first one. I know. So I know. Fan Badass femme fatale. Yeah. Um, has got like weird enchanting powers which make men, uh, well, everyone, not even men, do whatever the fuck she wants. Which crap. And she's got mad symbols all, like tattooed all over her. Yeah. She like can tap symbols and they'll turn into like weapons or force oh, fields shit. she is fucking badass That's she really used cool. to be a bad guy and then was like hey these bad guys are getting a bit too bad for my liking might switch sides might stay ambiguous so you never know where she stands I can tell she's gonna be my fave she's fucking amazing that sounds right. I love her so much wanna be her cool. you know what though it's great so now we know what fan fiction to look up to ruin Emily's life do it oh, fucking God. she probably you. wrote every single one probably wanked to it probably Jesus did. Christ <laughs> We're going to find out that, yes. I don't well, like to find fan Valkyrie Starbucks right Mrs. Cullen did, oh in gosh. fact, write this. Yeah, I bet it did. Um, uh, but yeah, and then, yeah, Starbuck. Uh, I wanted to be in Battlestar Galactica, and I wanted to be Kara Battle- at Starbuck Battlestar Race Galactica. In, had a lot of wine, Roshi. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be Kara Starbuck Thrace in Battlestar Galactica. She was my favorite character. And, yeah, she was just a real badass fighter pilot. Cool. Something I can never be because I wear glasses, so... Not according to your Despite Tinder the fact account. fact that I wanted, what? Not according to your Tinder what account. What do you mean, not according to my Tinder account? Aren't you like... You just lying? omitted the fact you wear spectacles. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> the true path I, I thought you... I said... don't have 2020 vision. I've lied to you. Our children will have terrible eyesight. <laughs> so I'm not a man. <laughs> um, sorry, back to the <laughs> Tinder. I thought I said you could fly like a spaceship in that. And so oh she's, my she's God, lied the about fucking anything. millennial... Millennial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm flying the millennial fucking falcon. Millennial everyone. falcon. A oh millennium falcon, different star series. Star, 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 whatever. They're all <laughs> star, 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 star. So very star, fair. Star. So chapter one finished. Uh, critiques. We've learned a lot about everyone's preferences, their sexual awakenings, and just what were their what their fan fiction names are. So look out for that. I guess we should end it here. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Gutter Kids. So, episodes kind of ended a little bit. I'm just going to repeat everything I said yeah. and cut all that last bit out. <laughs> <laughs> so, episodes kept dra- dragging a bit long. Um, that wasn't English. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> it's all in. Did it. Okay. Episodes gone on a bit long. We yeah. rambled for a while. It went mm. from ruining my childhood mm-hmm. with uh, weird fan fiction mm-hmm. to us discussing the legitimacy of self insertion as a child into the into fandoms you like and, and our usernames. So mm-hmm. and yeah. how warranted um, the sexualization of anime characters really yeah. is. This really was a tangent. Better, but, uh, better than just... jacking off to real teenagers. You um, know, right, you know? Oh God, don't! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> what did what? we discuss, what did we discuss about lawsuits <laughs> on this channel? So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to cut it off and, and see yeah. where, where the next episode takes us because it's probably going to be as rambling and nonsensical as this. So. Absolutely. So if you like what you heard, um, please do, I'm not going to say like, comment and subscribe. You I've just made... did it. Oh. There we go. Leave Whoops. it in. Just Leave it in. There it is. Your yeah. favorite uh, spider in the post. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we're gutter kids. and We're gutter kids. Uh, we do weird shit. We kind of do what we want because it's our channel. Lo- oh, shit. That's shit, not that <laughs> <say that either. laughs> Oh anyway, anyway, I'm Nikki. I'm Emily. And I'm Roshi. Uh, goodbye. We're going to work on a sign off. Thank you for sticking through part one of Love Heals All Wounds, a Kingdom Hearts fanfic written by Chain of Roxas. This is the first ever episode of the Gutter Kids Fanfic Book Club. If you enjoyed it as much as we did, please do tell a friend about us. We'd really appreciate it. The second part will be released tomorrow as part of Gutter Kids Launch Week. 
If you like what we Gutter Kids do, be sure to like and share us on Facebook. And while you're at it, why don't you follow us on Instagram and Twitter at gutter double underscore kids. That's at G-U-T-T-E-R underscore underscore K-I-D-S. Did you know that we're also on YouTube? You can find us on, you guessed it, Gutter Kids, where we will be uploading weekly, daily for this first Gutter Kids launch week. Thanks again for listening. And remember, we are all in the gutter, but some of us are gazing at the stars. And some of us are yelling at the stars. What do the stars even do for us anyway? Stupid know-it-all stars.